Oh, look at the all the little critters. I just have a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I have a chicken. <laughs> She's so beautiful. <laughs> so she's going to be, um, she's the inspiration for today's dog biscuit treats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Edgar said, yeah. right on, sign me up. <laughs> so these are all natural. They're going to be, uh, well, all organic. And of course, we got to add some herb because it's Holly's homegrown. So we're going to put some parsley in, which is good. Oh, thanks for the hugs. Oh, <laughs> for breath. Thank you, which is good for their digestion and human digestion as well. So, and, rough, um, right? and also we have an optional ingredient, flaxseed ground, if you want to add that for some omegas for their fur and their skin. Um, Rizzo's still a little baby. She's only 11 weeks old. And so oh. we're not going to give her the flaxseed because it can also, it helps move their uh, system around. So, uh, she doesn't need that right now. She's very regular and just fine. So, uh, <laughs> but I will have, I will have the black seed in the menu. I mean, on the recipe. So you can, hi. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you're going to tongue. All I can see is her tongue. <laughs> I know. Matches my shirt. I know. Mm. I think because I had the peanut butter, she's smelling like peanut butter. Okay. Oh, I'm going to jack them on. I'm going to pass Rizzo. Say bye everybody. standard poodle full size and her father is an English retriever which looks like a golden retriever but they're white and a little stockier they're beautiful so she's our newest addition and um she's, she's so cute ever how's, so she doing, how's she doing sleeping at night the last couple days she's been sleeping through the night she got up at seven when I'm already up at six so um it's just yeah she's been great so oh, they're just awesome. they're very smart dogs two dogs in her litter are going into the service already so um oh, cool. so they're really bred for service dogs and she's our emotional support animal through covid <laughs> do you think we need emotional support i know i do i know i do puppy pet the puppy pet the puppy anyway <laughs> So, the animals uh, have really helped during this time. You know, they're the best. So anyway, look at there's Ed. hi Edgar. Hi. So so that's on today's menu. Today is in honor of all of our furry friends. Um, we're gonna do a um, whole wheat rolled oats, little nutritional yeast. Uh, egg, peanut butter, and even a little bit of garlic and parsley surprise for these dogs. And these Yum. you bake in a low and slow, 275 for about two hours. So you just, because you want them to be kind of unlike human cookies, you want them to be dried out and crumbly um, mm -hmm. uh, so that they break apart easily for them in their mouths. And like I said, you can also add the ground flaxseed and make sure it's ground, not whole because you, uh, the ground flax seed, you actually get the nutritional value and yep. the omega. If it's whole, it's just going to go through your system the way it started. So that doesn't help. We've had this uh, discussion, Lisa. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we have had this discussion. So that, <laughs> I, 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 I,
All right. Well, let's go. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay. Hey, we're going to like sign me up. Sign me up. This is my favorite thing ever. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> so we're going to start with one and a half cups rolled oats. And mm -hmm. this is going to go in the Cuisinart and kind of make a dough. And then we're going to roll it out. And I found a doggy bone cookie cutter. Oh, so cute. You, make, make a little, you can make them on your own. You know, you can make them any shape you want. But Okay, so you're, you're not going to make them into a Biden-Harris bone? No. <laughs> My like masterpiece, you know, with the yeah. different colors. No, I can't do that. Um, okay. <laughs> then we're going to add the flour. So it is two cups of whole wheat flour. Now, where did you get this recipe? Um, this is actually so funny. This is a recipe originally from an herb, one of my herbal cookbooks. That, oh, uh, uh -huh. that I know of all things. I was actually looking for something different. And um, and then I saw this and I thought, you know, I have several friends that make their own dog treats and sell them as little crafty things for the holidays. And mm -hmm. um, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because I know people make them homemade. I've I've never done it before. Done so it. um so why not? I was this close to opening a dog bakery. Dog Were you really? Bakery. Oh, I so yeah. believe that. I so believe that. Yeah. <laughs> that I was genius. Really very close. I know. Well, we almost did it. People one next door because you got to feed them. Yeah. Feed people too. Okay. Then it's a fourth yeah. a cup of uh, nutritional yeast. Uh huh. This, by the way, is great um, for tofu as well. I like to, um, when I make tofu, I like to put this on the outsides and then you can fry it up. It's really good. No. I use it on my potatoes all the time and yeah. um, popcorn. It's a great, um, it's a great vegan um, flavoring. They make cheeses out of it with like cashews, um, sort of vegan cheese. That's the thing. I was like the doctor, whatever makes it. It's yellow. It's the yeah. It's like the brewer's yeast. Yeah, mm -hmm. I put okay. that on my popcorn. It's good. Yeah, the vitamin. It's, good. It's, it's good for you. Okay, so then we're gonna do a little garlic powder. So the, yeah, so this is a take on a recipe that I found in one of my herb cookbooks. But I changed it up a little bit. So I'm just going to do a teaspoon of the garlic. And that's garlic powder. It's garlic powder. Yeah. I okay. don't want to give them chunks of garlic. Um, <laughs> I mean, you could, okay. but then you have to go brush their teeth. You're dealing uh, with dog breath already. Okay. Uh, I brush my cat's teeth every night. You do? I know you think that's nuts. Uh-huh. <laughs> I do. So the parsley will take care. Actually, parsley takes care of bad breath in your gut, where bad breath yeah. can come from. Really? So, yep. Yes. So we're going to add the parsley. And it's a cup of parsley. And you just want the tops um, and just a gentle top. They're going to get um, mixed around here in the Cuisinart. So that will really break down. But it's a cup of that. OK, so we're going to give this a spin and let all of these things really grind down. So we've got the oats, the flour, the yeast, the uh, parsley, and the garlic. So we're going to give this a whirl. A whirl. I used to make my cat food. I made cat food for years. You did? Years and years. Yeah. Wow. Before, okay. before really good animal food was a thing like you couldn't find anything other than like you know the traditional nine lives stuff you buy in the grocery store and i i just wouldn't do it so for about 15 years i the first 15 years of my first group of cats i made their food like once a month i made it all put it in the freezer and that's what they wow. ate that's commitment um <laughs> monkey lived to be 21. I mean, I made my kids own baby food, so I was proud of that. That was good. Really? Well, but I didn't have kids, so there this, you go. <laughs> yeah, they're, your, they're her babies, you know? They're just That's as right. fresh. Um, I think that um, uh, it is important to remember to be conscious of what we're feeding our animals, um, mm -hmm. you know, because they if you're feeding them foods with pesticides or they're running on grass with pesticides that's why doggies get cancer and all these horrible things yep. now that they never used to get before 
because of our human intervention, our interactions here. So There's I think a lot great. of um, bad col food colorings and fillers. Yes. Mm -hmm. you need to look at your dog food and see, especially if it's meat and grain based and, you know, where is that all coming from and what kind and, you yeah. know what I, I mean? always look at it like if I would, if I can't eat it, then yeah, I, I, why I should they? Why that. should they? Eat it? Yeah, 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 it's not healthy for them either. I and had you a do friend it. who used to actually eat it all first. Yeah, all those fillers. He used to eat his cat <laughs> treats. <laughs> if, they taste good. if you feel like your dog food is appetizing, then you know it's good. <laughs> it's good food. Yeah. Oh my, God. my my dog food, the food they eat now, is so yummy. It's made from this company in Colorado, and you can put hot water on it, and it turns into gravy. And it's like okay, so I just oh, added cool. peanut butter, a half a, okay. a quarter cup of peanut butter, and we're gonna let that incorporate. Ooh. Okay. Butter. Peanut butter, Monty. That's his favorite. Don't okay. say it. He knows that's what it really is. Good. And that's unsalted <laughs> peanut butter. So we don't want to add. The love okay. salt. We don't want to add yeah. any salt to this. The animals don't need any sodium. Okay. So once the peanut butter is in, we're gonna add the egg. One egg. Can you hear Edgar snoring? Can you hear him? <laughs> He's like, this has become tiresome. Where are the biscuits? <laughs> I'm sorry, Edgar. Am I boring you? Okay. So it's one egg. And then we're going to do um, one cup of uh, chicken broth. But you could use beef or um, uh, lamb or whatever. But I'm going to use chicken today. Okay. okay. And that's an organic broth too, right? This is. And it's low sodium. That's another thing. Make sure it's low sodium. Again, we don't want any, the animals don't need any salt. Okay. Okay. So we're going to then mix this again. And we're going to wait for it to form a ball. Here it goes. So you're actually really making a cookie dough. Oh, can you see yeah. it? That's what we want. Um, I love it when it does that. That's That was so much physical work right there to need and do that. And the, the Cuisinart just did it all for us. Um, yeah. I remember. <laughs> that's so funny that's so funny okay so then we're gonna take um take the dough out i'm gonna put some wheat um this is a granite countertop so it's fine to do it right on i cleaned it beforehand so just this is fine to use it so put a little um wheat flour on your countertop you can use wheat flour I did. I used whole wheat. It's just healthier. Um, and it's a whole grain, which is really important to give, well, for all of us to have whole grains um, and even and the animals too. I think that, you know, it's, there's a trend to, to, to have our animals not have any grains. Um, and my vet ha really disagrees with that. She said that, you know, they do need the carbohydrates. Um, so we generally use one that's rice based or wheat flour base um, along with the proteins for your dogs. Mm -hmm. So you could use a, a rice flour in this as well if you want to just make sure it's non-GMO. It's really important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna just knead this a little bit and just give it a quick, so it comes together. I'm like kind part of, of me is going, don't you want to add some raisins and nuts? No. I know, I <laughs> know. <laughs> that was pretty good to me. <laughs> It smells pretty, it kind of smells like peanut butter and the brewer's yeast and, uh, but it's actually pretty because um, it has a little parsley flakes in it. That, I can't this, make this. This looks really good. It's not, um, and obviously this is not typical. Okay, so, because again, you know, this is the second time I've baked. So, so far I've baked muffins and dog food. So there you go. All right. <laughs> there, there it that's, is. That's about my skill. That's not my skill level. All right, so we're going to do... I'm just gonna roll it out since we're gonna do the um, the cookie cutter. Now you can uh -huh. also just take a piece of this and um, and turn it into a cylinder and then push in the sides and make your own kind of bone, you know, bone with it, um, or form them into any desired. I mean, uh, frankly, I don't think the dog really cares the shape. You could probably just <laughs> run a knife and cut it into rectangles. Right. They <laughs> It's you kind know, of you can use, you are, you can use the dog for you know, us. <laughs> anything. Yeah, exactly. The dogs don't care. This is this is purely for the human's benefit. And actually, this would make a nice gift for like, you know, like us, a new puppy owner, if some if a neighbor or friend has a new dog, 
you could bring them over, put a little bow around, oh put a couple God. together. I love that idea for Christmas. Put a little yeah. bow around it, put it in a cute little bag, you know, a uh, gift bag. Okay, so ideally, one would put this on parchment paper in a cookie sheet, on a cookie sheet. Today is not that ideal day um, because I'm out of <laughs> parchment. So we're going Bummer. to oil the, um, I'm going to use some olive oil and oil the cookie sheet. I so. wish you lived near me. <laughs> I have so much parchment paper. I, have a lot. I don't know what happened to all of my parchment. I think the kids, and I blame my children, blame them for okay. it. So we're going to really um, put a nice uh, sheen on that so they don't stick. Um, but, I, you know, in, in an ideal world, in a non-corona world, you put parchment on that. Or you go to Debriana's house and you get And some picks them up. Yes. I get it at Costco. So I get, you know, enough for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Which, as it turns out, we may need. Um, yes. As it turns out, I'm going through it a lot faster. <laughs> Debriana is a certified here's Costcovian. Our, here's our cute little bone <laughs> here. So I'm going to line these up and just go through. And that's it. Aren't they cute? Look at these. I mean, come oh on. Oh my so God, they're adorable. Oh, they're so great. So I'll bake these and, up and take a and picture. And they won't rise, everything. right? Because you really didn't put any leavening in there. No, no. And you, you want these, remember, these, these are going to go, these are going to cook for two hours on 275. So it's low and okay. slow. So they get, because I want them to be crumbly, unlike human cookies. Um, I don't yeah. want these to be hard because I've got a little baby, right? So she's just gonna, she's got little baby puppy teeth. You could, you yeah, could push them a little though. higher <laughs> if you wanted to. Um, yeah. And, uh, so you could make them thicker than that if you wanted to, like my dogs are older and they yeah. would definitely, they like a, a biscuit that's, you know, like, I don't know. A substantial half biscuit. Inch, half an inch. And it yeah, the interesting food. thing is dog biscuits are expensive. Right. I mean, yeah, how this much was this? Was, this was very few ingredients. ingredients. Yeah. Very few ingredients and really fast. To get so, them yeah. with just clean ingredients, they're expensive, just like anything else. I mean, if you're going to buy like milk bone, they're super cheap, but then you're giving your dog chemicals. I mean, it's just, right. yeah, right. yeah. So this way right. we can, um, we're saving a little money. We're doing something healthy for our friends. Our furry friends, and um, and just make a huge batch of them. This is making. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll probably get twenty biscuits out of this. So oh, cool. um, and they're big biscuits. And they're big. This is a little bigger yeah. than for Rizzo, but um, <laughs> my bi my other dog biscuits gonna love these biscuits. Your other dog is named Biscuit. I know my baby Biscuit. She's two years old now. Yeah. I, yes, Patricia, you have you have three for for babies. I yeah. I have two goats too. I have two goats, and they'll eat anything. They don't care. They're not discriminatory. <laughs> they'll eat a tin can if you give it to them. But um, oh anyway, God. so there. So that was that batch. I've got a little dough left here, so I'm just gonna sort of take the parts and put it fold them back in and re-roll it. And then I'll get another probably four out of four or five out of this. Um, now, have it. you, you've seen biscuits that have um, doggy frosting on them, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't Do know. You know. What is that bacon fat or some kind of, I, I don't know. That's what I was going to ask. I'm, I'm always curious about that because I've gone into dog bake bakeries and they've always had these gorgeous, you know, they look like I want to eat them. Right. Well, you know, Brianna, we have we Holly, we you've been in the store. It's called Teca Two in Santa Fe, and it's like the premier, yeah. you know, pet store for for gadgets and food and stuff. And they have those frosted ones there. And I looked at it one time, and it was, well, I gotta say, there was one that I didn't really like the ingredients in it. It was some kind of not dextrose, but a light sugary thing. And I was like. Mm -hmm. No, and then yeah. another yeah, you one. You don't want to give that to the dog. You could, I mean, I was going to give maybe that to corn a starch or something, but you don't want to give them a lot of corn either. It's hard for them to digest corn. So yeah. I would think that it would be some kind of fat. Yeah. But although you're not supposed to give bacon fat to dogs. So anyway. Yeah. All right. So here we go. So this is our, I'll just show you the. I think everyone should eat bacon fat. Here's the cookie sheet. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at cute. cute. So Most we'll break these up. 
and I'll get some photos out to everybody along with the recipe. And then we can see a little, we'll, we'll taste test. Not I won't taste test, but the dogs will taste test. But seriously, Although Jack, my there's son, nothing Jack in there that you couldn't eat. I yeah. mean, you could, there really isn't. I know, honestly. Take, well, Jack, a really anyway. take a picture of Biscuit having the biscuit. I will. I will. So that's oh, it. Uh, yes, goats are good for weeds. Do you use your goats for weeds or do you use it for milk? Ooh, weeds. We have two boys, brothers, and it's for um, weed abatement for the for the fire to help with the fire clear out. Uh, okay. They're, they're and how is the fire situation right now? It's a little better. The air quality is a little better. There are still fires burning. Um, mm -hmm. And we just found out there, were, there was a reversal of the um, funds, federal funds that were supposed to come our way that weren't. And now I guess they are. So um, that's good news. Because people uh, are, I know. It's well, just, the, on the, the, yeah, it's really. I saw a court today actually um, uh, put a stay on the, uh, food stamps there trump was going to cut food stamps in the middle of a pandemic and we have lines of food food bank food bank. there's lines of people at our food banks because we we do yeah. a lot of as a family we volunteer at our our county food bank quite a bit and there are just lines of people it's really yeah it's really scary time now. um it but is. anyway but we're well, all okay now and everybody's yeah, doing okay, that's so. good yeah all right here's well, another thing people can do this is a, a group called Envoys for Humanity. org, and they have um, they're they're sending postcards out to um, first time voters in Florida. They're targeting specific voters in Texas. Um, so if you want to help, if you go to that Envoys for Humanity. org, you can um, also get the your the download addresses and figure out how to do that and help in the last you know these last two weeks great do Something what you else? can everybody and also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and Please. go to holly's homegrown.com yes holly's homegrown.com <laughs> is the way we should do this and you know last weekends.org swing left we already know that <laughs> I mean, in a lot of states, um, their last, well, California, I think, was yesterday for online registration. New Mexico, it's October 31st. If you want to, you know, just you're, you're really late and you're just, you know, you haven't gotten on the bandwagon, you still can, people. Like, you need to Do get it. Go vote. You need to get this done. This, this is what, what I call go time. This is it. We do not want to be close. Today, there was a... 4-4 four, four vote in the Supreme Court, um, which actually upheld the um, Pennsylvania can can um, count the votes a few days after as long as they're both Robert, by the right place. Roberts went with the liberals. Yes, but it was 4-4. Four, four. So this is the deal. We're, the Supreme Court, um, you may want to, if you're really interested in getting down into to a little bit more weedy things, call your senators and tell them to do whatever they can to block this nomination. There are still ways to slow this down. And this is going to get cray cray. Now, if we do not want this going to the Supreme Court, because we don't, there, it, it could easily go this way, 4-4. Four, four. So we, what we need to do is make sure that we do not win on the margins. We need to really landslide it. So if you can help, lastweekends.org, Swing Left, or Envoys for Humanity. Those are all um, places you can go to help. Great. Let's do it. Come on, people. Edgar, you can do it. Edgar says vote. Yes, we can do it. <laughs> Thank oh you, God. Holly. That was Thank awesome. I'm sure we're going to help you. a lot of people. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Yes, we, we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wear a mask, everyone. Be safe and be good to your pets. Yeah. For your babies. Be good to your babies. Fur babies. <laughs>